Alright you guys, so we made it. We're in Vegas at the Goodwill Bins, as you can see there. We're gonna go inside, we're just waiting on everybody to show up, and then we're gonna go in and see if we can find any gems, and we will go over a haul when we get back to the hotel room. See you then. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we did not do the haul while we were still in Vegas. This is our dining room. Um, we got home and sat the bag aside and kind of forgot about it. Um, and then I went to do to this week's video and went, oh man, we never even looked through that bag. So let's look through it together and see what all we found at the Las Vegas bins. Let's see, here's our first item. What is this? This is a jacket. This is a like Vans skateboard brand jacket. Has a nice red quilting on the inside. It is a size extra small, so it might be a little bit harder to sell, but it is a very nice high quality jacket. So that was a pretty decent find. Oh, here's the little t-shirt. You guys have seen a picture of me holding this t-shirt up before, the like and subscribe t-shirt. I believe it was either Blue Ridge Mama or Dave's wife Tina that took a picture of me holding this up in the bins um, and I'm very thankful for that. That was a very cool picture. The only reason I actually bought this is because of the memory of course and I think I might hang it in the eBay room. I'll wash it and uh, get all the wrinkles out of it and maybe hang it up as a like a commemorative reminder kind of thing. What is this? Las Vegas Correct ball dogs i have no idea guys it's a like a pit bull or a bulldog not a pit bull a bull bulldog and a basketball and the skyline no idea what that is i'll have to look into that further let's see what is this is this the front or the back this is the front once upon a time in south central and you got a boys in the hood logo there and on the back Got the guys from Boys in the Hood sitting on the porch, hanging out. That's a pretty cool shirt. That might be good for whatnot. We are considering doing whatnot again, hopefully soon. We've got plenty of stuff that would be great for whatnot, including this. This is a Jason Voorhees, like Friday the 13th jersey. I'm guessing this may be a Halloween costume or something. There's some little like tissue paper or something stuck to these. Uh, I think if we take a white, uh, wet washcloth, it'll peel that right off. So yeah, that may be a whatnot item, kind of random. What we got here, what is this, red cap? Oh, it's a, a red cap branded work jacket. This is actually a really nice jacket. It does look a little smaller. It is a size small, so a little harder of a sell, but very nice jacket as a sleeve pocket. Um, if this is not, high enough of a value to put on eBay, we may take this to the flea market. We're planning to sell at the flea market either this weekend or next weekend. So that would do well there, I think. What do we got? T-shirt. A Reebok 3XL Washington Redskins T-shirt. What does it say down here? Oh, National Football League. That's pretty cool. And another T-shirt. Oh, a little NSYNC T-shirt. This is a size small. This will probably also be flea market or maybe even our booth. We sell lots of NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and stuff like that. Uh, memorabilia, CDs, cassettes, all that at our booth. What's this? Oh, it's a, um, a pillowcase. It's a vintage Mickey and Minnie. Who else is on there? Donald and Daisy on a roller coaster. And the back is Goofy brushing a hippopotamus's teeth. That's weird, but still very cool. We've got a couple of hats in here. We've got a Titleist Pro V1 with the FJ on the side. It does have some spots on it, but I think Xena can get this cleaned up. Maybe steam it and uh, flatten the bill out a little bit more. It's pretty harshly bent, but uh, those are a good sale, guys. Watch for that Pro V1 Titleist. Those are, those are really good sellers for us. Around the $15 to $20 mark, depending on condition. Uh, this is a Las Vegas Knights hat. Nothing real special, but we decided to pick up a couple of Las Vegas Knights items. There's, oh, here's a beanie, Las Vegas uh, beanie, Las Vegas Knights beanie, hockey team. 
Oh, here's another one. Ooh, this one's really nice. Look at this one. Got the embroidered Las Vegas Knights logo here. It's got an NHL on the back. It says VGK, which is Vegas Golden Knights. Very nice hat. What brand is this? Fanatics. Very, very nice. We always see Kerry American Arbitrage picking up the Golden Knights stuff, and he seems to sell it, so we thought we would try it out. Um, what do we got here? A pair. I remember finding these at the last minute. We were all about to leave, and I saw these vintage um, Wranglers. They are made in the USA, I believe. Yes, made in the USA. Um, I've sold so many pairs of these. These are something that I pick up every time I see them, if they're in good condition. Black is a little bit... Seems to be a little more desirable of a color because you constantly find blue, not black. But those should be at least like a $20 bill, no problem. Uh, Levi's 501s. These are a cool like gray wash. What are these? Where were these made? Oh, these are newer. So not vintage, but 34, 32, not a bad size. Those should sell really well just because they have that really cool gray wash color to them instead of the traditional, you know, blue or black. So those are really cool. Ooh, I found my first pair of True Religion jeans. I was really excited to find these. Not something we see around here too often. Um, so let's see, oh, these are the ones. I knew there was a pair of jeans that I picked up that had some damage, you can see here by the ankles, I think. Oh yeah, the other, the other ankle has it too. It's, it looks like somebody wore them too long and they drug, but I'll just put that in as distressed. There's a little distressing on the pocket there too. And note the, note the defects. Just make sure I take good pictures of those and they should still do well. I'm not sure what the value is on those, but I'll research it and try to find out. I'll put a comp up here for you guys. What the heck is this? Is this a flag? Uh, it's a giant, look at this. Oh, it's huge. Baltimore Ravens flag. That's an interesting thing to buy. But hopefully we can sell it. It's going to be fun to take pictures of that. But that's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, is this another shirt? Oh, yes. We got another t-shirt. Uh, 50 Vegas Sports Car Club of America. Okay, the back is way cooler. The back has this race car on it. What does it say? Lone Star Double National Texas World Speedway, 1994 right there. And this should be a single stitch. Yes, it is. This is a single stitch t-shirt. I picked this up and was looking at it closely and uh, Kevin Commonwealth Picker came over and he said, man, that's a nice find. That's a really good one. <laughs> I was really happy to find it. It is... Uh, 2XL, so it's a great size and made in the USA. So this should be a really nice sale. Hopefully at least 25 plus on that. Uh, well, we got some plush, some little dog. He's got a little key hanging out of his mouth. Disney babies. I'm not sure what this is. Do you guys recognize this little guy? If you do, let me know down below. I'm curious. Uh, this is the horse from Toy Story. This is, is it Woody's horse? I can't remember his name. I can, like, it's playing in my head, but I cannot, it's not, it's not coming to mind, but nice, cute, little, clean plush. That'll be good in our booth if he doesn't go on eBay. Uh, Taylor made titanium golf club head cover for a three wood. Uh, that should be, what, maybe seven, eight bucks. What else? What else? We got, oh. Well, I guess it's got batteries in it. It's a catchphrase. I've sold these before. I've sold the blue one. I think I sold it for a 16 or 18. Um, and this is all you need to play the game. So I don't know if you can find, you can probably find instructions for it online, but that should be an easy 15, 16 bucks. So I got my dog barking outside. She's being wild. Uh, what do we got? Brian's Ultimate Martini Manual. This is from um, Family Guy, Brian the dog from Family Guy. What do we got? This is an Apple MacBook charger. Zena said pick that up. I don't know much about Apple myself, but Zena said pick it up, so I did. And then we have a Sony remote. This is for a Sony Bravia TV, it looks like. They even circled which TV they had, uh, whoever this belongs to. I always pick up Sony remotes, Sony chargers, things like that. 
They tend to do well as on, uh, on eBay. Speaking of, here is a Sony cord of some sort. Just says power adapter and then the model number. So you can look these up by model number and then sell them that way. This may be for a computer or something. I don't know. It has a weird end. It might be for a camera. That seems kind of big for a camera. Maybe a video camera, but... Either way, that should be like 10, 12 bucks probably. Most of those cables normally are. We've got a Nerf bipod. Is that what you call it? A bipod instead of a tripod? It's adjustable. I've sold the tripods several times and they're normally like 10 or 12 bucks. So this is maybe like eight, seven, eight bucks maybe. Just guessing. What else is in here? We've got a dinosaur. This is Jurassic Park. Let's get this button back here, makes him. Ah, that's pretty cool i like that we got a transformer toy there's a bunch of loose toys left down in here there's a vinyl nation guy what does he say haunted mansion series 2 vinyl nation dude it doesn't say vinyl nation dude on it but got a joker hot wheel i see some imagine x guys in here that guy's got something stuck to his face one, two, three, four, five, six. Any more? There's some other little loose. Oh, there's another Batman. A whole bunch of little Imagine X. Probably just lock these together for like seven or eight, ten bucks, depending on if any of them are real valuable. Uh, there's a Superman in here. There's some Bionicle. If you find these, this is just parts and pieces of a Bionicle guy. If you find Bionicles, pick them up. Um, even if they're missing a part or two, this one's missing way more than that, so he's not gonna be too valuable he may end up going into a lot but if you can find bionicle figures in their little tube that they originally come in with their instructions and they're complete you're gonna make some decent money on those we've sold some just the guy missing a couple of pieces like two or three pieces and they sold for like 18 to 20 dollars so make sure you keep an eye out for those guys what else is in here just some random parts and pieces a couple of weapons some little disney guys a cape for a superman Another Imagine X figure thing. Just, uh, oh, and this little bag of Littlest Pet Shop guys. So that's about it, guys. Um, that was fun. We had a blast at the bins in Vegas. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film inside. So they're pretty strict on that rule. They did come over the PA a couple of times and say something about it. And I think a couple of the people in our group got uh, pointed out by some of the t-shirt bros. But um, we had a great time. Uh, yeah. Lots of digging, lots of Fast and Furious. Some of the stuff that we got here is awesome. Some of it's a little questionable, but there was just so much going on that it uh, it, it was just wild. It was throw everything in the bag, we'll look at it later kind of kind of deal. There was a few things we, we threw back, but we kind of just went with it, just went on instinct. Not sure how we ended up with so many random little toys, but whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, we did go later in the evening after this to Fremont Street and go walk around. So I'll play some of that footage right after this. If you would, guys, make sure you go like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.